For sometimes things that uh, should happen don't always happen, like that uh, local, uh, what is he a weatherman or an anchor? Uh, he was a weatherman. Right, weatherman, slip of the tongue, Uh oh. a couple of days ago, I think coming from upstate New York, is that right? Um, yeah. Did I just make that up because it sounds like it's an upstate New York story? Just don't, you guys, don't look at the board. Just like let them play it and see if okay. you guys catch what he said wrong. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. Don't look at the television set. Hi, I'm a f- oh. <laughs> uh, faggot, faggot. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, no. You really do take advantage of being able to use that word, Mateo. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> um, Where is it? Yeah, don't use that one in the impressions of me. <laughs> oh, please, please say, oh only use your God, impressions. Say that word. Joe is not saying Look, that. I just want to say one thing. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> There's one yeah, word. There you My you favorite it. word, uh, actually, is... Uh, you just missed it. It's you just, just right there. Meteorologist. I, I know, but don't look, Joe. Don't look. No, that's, we can't look. That's the... Uh, Oh, the it's like we're watching The Masked Singer now. Yeah, it's in my email from last night. Exactly. The mask. These are all from your email last night. Nope. <laughs> okay. You just said no. Okay. Nailed yeah, I want to see you guys... The original email. I want to see you guys can pick up. Yeah, exactly what the problem is here. Now, the audio is a little wonky because somebody taped it off their TV set, but it's local news. We don't have a, a digital source these days for absolutely everything somehow. Um, but this is the man. He's a local weatherman. He's yep. in uh, Rochester, New York. I'm was. performing there soon. Okay. Well, maybe you'll end up saying something like this. Fabulous. Yes. Right. Martin Luther King. Okay. Oh, no. It was great. This is the way it looked out at Martin Luther King Jr. Park. The ice cream at the Zamboni machine out. Did you catch Play it, it, play it one again? One more time. One more. Play it again, Troy. It was great. This is the way it looked out at Martin Luther King Jr. Park. The ice cream at the Zamboni machine out. And you didn't catch anything, Mateo? No. I, I caught Joe, it. Joe, you caught it yeah. quite. You caught it right away. Yeah, that that's because was... you think it a lot. <laughs> no. What, no. Did he, what did he say? Martin Luther Kuhn King. <gasps> he was trying to say Martin Luther King. And he said Kuhn, and he caught himself quickly. Right. And they, but they fired him. They're like, that's probably one he said a lot. Other guys have made that. That uh, yeah, he called somebody out. One of the ESPN guys he called out for the the uh, meteorologist. He was like, this has happened before. They don't get fired for it. He went on but Twitter. Also, what are and meteorologists he... doing? That is a job so replaceable. Siri could do it. I mean, it's not. No, Siri you're... does do it. It does. It does. You're right. I mean, if you're a meteorologist, if you're the weather guy, all you need to do is make sure you still fit the suit and don't right. say bad words. And don't say horrible don't, words. Don't use a racial epithet. <laughs> that's that's going to make one of those wacky news bloopers, highlight <laughs> reels that I enjoy so much. Yeah, they'll play it on ABC. But do you think he should be getting fired, Jim? I mean, didn't... no, but I mean, they're also, when you're talking for Martin Luther Kuhn is a, like... I, that's like one of those that's things bad. that's been said as a like a racial joke. Yeah, like that's been said as like a, a racial but I'm joke. But sure it's also been said as a mistake. A you mistake don't think so? too. Martin Luther King. I mean, I don't know how do you say Martin Luther King. I have like, no. I, I don't know how that happens. Look, I've never said it. But but I don't I don't see how you make the mistake. It's not like it sounds like it. But so you think maybe he clearly he made the mistake, right? He wasn't doing it on purpose. Unless he was, he's just a psychopath. No, he didn't mean to do it. But you think he made the mistake based on the fact that he's made the joke before? I don't know. I don't know why he made it. But that's why people maybe get fired is because it's... See, uh, I never want to see anybody get fired for something like that. I never want to see a person get fired. Um, I don't know. I feel like slip of the tongue should be under the category of apology, okay, and then move on. No? I mean, if he said Carol Cunt, King, they'd fire him. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, maybe maybe this is one where you do need to fire him because it's just so. Like, yeah, on the I don't nose. necessarily want to see him get fired, but I, I just don't know how you make that one. I've how said you make horrible that things in my life, but not. Yeah, I don't mistakenly said. I don't know how Kuhn comes out into the king, especially like Mateo pointed out. If you're a weatherman, it's a weatherman. We have to stop with these weathermen. If it was another curse, <laughs> yeah, really. if it was another curse, it might be different. The only good weatherman is Tom Skilling in Chicago on WGN because he just loves his job. He's so excited when the weather comes by. He is shitting his pants. He is so excited. Really? What's his He's name? Gay. Also Tom fire- Skilling. Tom also Chicago fireable. icon. Who? Also fireable. Yep. <laughs> Replaceable. <laughs> Tom Skilling is, is so excited about the weather. He's oh, the winds are coming. Oh my God! Has he been working since 1980? Yeah. Oh, he's Chicago legend. Anyone listening in Chicago, you know who Tom Skilling is. Wow. Staple. People Chicago like him. staple. 
Yeah, oh, everyone loves him. People will not give up on a broadcaster in Chicago. Harry Carey. We're very dedicated to our Chicago is a city that yeah. we don't we don't like to evolve much. Stubborn. <laughs> we found Tom Skilling in the seventies. He's staying with us. <laughs> There's Tom. Oh, it looks like the mercury rises to about zero. We went below zero at eleven o'clock last night. Zero at noon tomorrow would mean we have about a thirty-seven hour stretch of. See, this guy probably has all the stories because you can see and you can tell in his enthusiasm and the way he's delivering it that he takes a lot of pride in the fact that he has the information. Oh yeah, he's from a time when you didn't need to just be a pretty boy in a suit. He probably has very little respect for these other weathermen well, and wants to bring it back to the art form. There's right. a difference between meteorologist and weatherman because yes. he look he's got the maps and the ISO bars and no, he's doing yeah. research. And he knows I don't how like to read he's them. sitting in a computer bank though. <laughs> yeah. Like there's been a whole bunch of uh, business he's been attending to. <laughs> he's, been, he's been attending to the winds. It's he's, weather central. <laughs> Does ever, if, if he went to any restaurant in Chicago, would they know him? Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> Anyone from Chicago call in? You know who Tom Skilling? Everybody knows Tom Skilling. You'd be excited if you saw him. Yeah, I saw him once at. Pride. He was on a float and he was waving. He was so excited. Is he gay or is he? Yeah, just, he's there gay. I don't know if yeah. he's out about it, but mm -hmm. I'm sure that's like. Come on. He's been there since the seventies. Wow. He's been there a long time. A long time. It's such a great. I, mean, I think his, his brother's in prison or something. He has like oh. a dramatic like relationship with his brother. But um, so he's better off. He's better off. Yeah. yeah. But he's a this right here mm -hmm. is a beloved Chicago icon. How hard is the weather in Chicago? Well, that's windy. another thing. Yeah. That's like when you're dealing with it's real cold. weather. Yeah, windy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I just, uh, as I'm watching, maybe we'll watch a little more. I'm going to tell you, Mateo, I see nothing special well, with Tom Well, let's give him a second. Okay, all right. Also, I didn't pick this clip. Who knows? Maybe it's just an off day. Let, 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 let's give him a second. So this is yeah, yeah. Four Be careful. Minutes. Troy gets very offended if you start talking about the clips. <laughs> Let me yeah. We're about, what, 18 hours into that right now. Uh, and after that, we creep up into single digits tomorrow, so still no bonus, but uh, at least a little better. And the winds will start to die down later tomorrow, too. We have a lot of blowing and drifting going in the open areas around the city. Uh, and then we stair step up to the teens on Wednesday, uh, to the 20s on Thursday, and then uh, freezing. And even above... Zip uh, forward, uh, zip way forward. I'll tell you what I respect. He's, he's comfort and food to Chicago. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what I respect. Respect. After all the years of him doing that, he's been there, what, 30, 40 years yeah. maybe at this point, he still has an innate enthusiasm about what he's talking about, which is not something that people would have, you know, all these years into the game. He could be phoning it in. Oh, my God, he's even older in this Look clip. Look at Tom. Let's see. Here we go. All right, he's very old. Oh, packed a few on. He has he has gained weight in his older. He does look a little Humpty Dumpty. Well, he eats for free, doesn't he? Most restaurants in Chicago probably oh, serve him for free. Please, that right. deep, he's at that deep dish every day. <laughs> that deep dish pizza is not helping anybody. Luminati's no. everybody. Right, and he's not. Fuck Gino's East. He's not one to say no to dessert either. I would imagine. Blame for this goes on the it goes on the it falls on the shoulders of uh, high latitude blocking. <laughs> Way to throw high latitude black blocking under, under the. the us. Under the buzz. Configurations. What goes on up there has an impact on our weather here in the mid-latitudes. And we have not been alone in the whiplash. I mean, you, you heard the stories of record snow and coal in, in Europe. Uh, and then whammo. They, they switched into uh, April. And Just they jump in like three minutes in. For all -time high I miss Chicago. In London, warming. And there's our indication. Is Trump Hotel like the pinnacle of Chicago? No, everyone hates Trump Hotel. It sucks because that's a beautiful building that he leaves his name onto, and so it just has giant letters Trump, and everyone's just waiting to knock. I stayed that there shit once. Down. I did enjoy it. It was nice. People hate though that it's on the River Walk. Yeah. I mean, the you know the River Ride, whatever that thing is. Like they really want to knock it down. Uh, let's go to Liz in Florida. She's got a theory on our weatherman that was fired. What's up, Liz? Hey guys, um, so the slip up with the pronunciation is that the word junior comes after. Junior. Oh, okay. And so when you're speaking fast, you're trying to get through and you're going to junior. And so they kind of melt together. And that's, that's true. Yeah, that might be that might be plausible enough to not get him fired. Yeah. I also don't like that you'll give uh, Kevin Spacey more benefit of a doubt than this poor weatherman. <laughs> well, it's, but as soon as she explained it like that, it does make sense. I immediately go, maybe. It does make sense. Yeah, I mean. And the fact that, is it a joke that people make, though? I mean, I've never... 
Yeah. I don't even want to. I don't even want to think about it because then it gets in your head that someone said that, right? And then, and then, it's then you're seeing it from years. Like it's you, you just you hear it and then you. you it's like. Well, you want to say it on stage? No, never, never. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, no. And Mateo again. <laughs> Let's stop <laughs> the yeah. But it's like, and then how could you explain that you heard it because some weatherman said it and you were talking about it on a radio show and it creeped into your. Right, and then do people like Jim and myself are going like he said he heard it. He's lying. He yeah, he did it on purpose. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, but no, maybe he didn't do. I don't think he did it on purpose. No, of course not. And that when she said Junior after, yeah, King Junior, like yeah, okay. And nor yeah. normally when I do do it on stage, uh, I, I I I I try to be in character. <laughs> oh, I see. I, I don't want people to think that that's how I think. But I say it a lot. <laughs> I see. I mean, uh, Joe, I, that may I be mean, Matteo might see it in his act, but I don't see it in mine. <laughs> Is that me? I sound way gayer than that. No, I was I was doing my deep voice. Oh, I to, yeah. to, yeah. to thwart. <laughs> no, yeah, that's just uh, that's just alternate d dimension, Joe Mackey. Uh, yeah. That's what that's what it is. Oh, okay. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't sound like that at I, all. I, I don't sound like that at all. Wait, who's saying what? <laughs> I just have to grow a mustache now and then I'll... Yeah, that's it. And 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 lose thirty pounds. <laughs> yeah, One mustache and everyone that well Andrew Schultz has now got a mustache. I've seen that. So I see him on Instagram like, what am I saying? Oh, it's Andrew Schultz. I don't understand. <laughs> he has a big fucking a big mustache. I think he looks yes. cool. <laughs> what about my I look, I'm just saying I came here first with the mustache. Right. <laughs> right. Right, but yours is a very distinctly gay mustache. I guess so. I Why? Because so. it's on my face. Well, I feel like, you know, they said it in well, the Queen movie. Under it. <laughs> we kind of look alike, don't we? Look alike? Well, here's the thing. Andrew Schultz doesn't appear to keep the rest of his face as clean yeah. as you keep the rest of your face. Maybe that's what makes it uh, more of a gay mustache. I do like, wish I had his hairline, though. That's what I'm jealous of. That looks about. like a, t a terrible time to tape a message. He's like waveboarding. He's like, this is the only time I have. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think he's, I think he wants to, he wants to brag about his surroundings. Oh, that makes sense. He wants to let the people know that he's in a place where it's tropical. I'm, I'm, like I'm going to, uh, I'm going to grow a mustache. You are? Yep. Can like you grow it. a mustache? Let me see your face. Like, yeah, you definitely can. Is it a weak mustache? Or oh, a... no, to be a strong mustache. You should grow a mustache. My advice is become Italian and Mexican like myself, and it will show up. Are you Italian and Mexican? <laughs> yeah, and Irish. I'm the trifecta of Catholicism. <laughs> yeah, you really horrible. are. I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, guys. That's the show wow. for today. We're done. This We're was so done. fun. This Thanks for having by. us yeah. Thank you both for coming in. Of course, go to Sketchfest on Friday and Saturday. Yeah, no, February 15th I'm in Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah, you know, but this know. weekend I'm in San Francisco. So, yes. gays, you know who you are. Come out. San Francisco, Sketchfest, this weekend. Mateo Lane on Twitter. Right. And, I, and I'm going to be the new weatherman uh, for for New York. <laughs> Is that because you just heard all the fun things weathermen well, can say? I just say? got inspired. <laughs> Joe, I can't wait to have you back. <laughs> oh, thanks. And learn all the new words that Thank you learned. <laughs> thanks, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh...